Elton, were you just scribbling on a map when you put this tour together? Looks like you had some sort of seizure with a pen in your hand. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Rising Star 2, where, as you can see, we've got a new home. We have bought a home in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, which is pretty much the funnest phrase you can ever say in your life in the history of everything. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Come on, try it at home. It sounds awesome. So we bought this house up here in Canada. We are, I believe, technically Canadians now. I've been spending some time decorating, putting up a lot of our guitars, putting up some of our um, very, very late night art, and I'm um, decorating the practice space over here, decorating the practice space. So I put up some of our photos here, got one with Rebecca in there, because, you know, we, we, we think fondly of Rebecca. It was hard when she left, but we wish her the best. And of course, the newer one here with Dr. Sissy, we're not putting the one up with that other guy. And we have been down to the local Saskatoon Town Hall. We have gotten some information on what it means to now be Canadian. There's a whole little welcome package package that they put together for you. We've got some uh, some hockey jerseys, apparently. Uh, Alicia's got those packed away over there in the shelves there. We were going to get a few Rush albums, but Brad already had them, so we passed on those. And we've got a little sort of 10-point checklist on what it means to just be really, really cool and chill with people all the time. We've also changed our money out for Canadian dollars, which somehow are just not as good. They're very, very similar, but not as good as regular dollars. Ashton's trying to work out the conversion rating on... It, who left their jacket here? Guys, Brad, is that yours? It, did the former owners leave that? We should probably return that to them. That would be a nice Canadian thing to do. Brad, I see you've got a bit of a level up here. Let's go with a little bit more into playing and a little bit more into stage presence because you're basically pretty good at all the things I need you to be pretty good at. Now, we have a gig tonight. Yeah, we're on the Megalithic Tour, just wrapping that up on our album here. And we've got a gig at the Roebuck Theater right here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Come on, try it at home. It's so fun to say. Hello, Saskatoon. So we like totally live here now. We're Saskatoon residents. Um, please welcome us to your neighborhood. Also, we rock your face off. One more quick note, people of Saskatoon, please don't tell this one guy what our address is. It's getting a little creepy. Well, I would love to go back to our new home and continue decorating, but we've got another gig to go to. We have to get out to Edmonton, Alberta, which we are pretty sure is still in Canada. Let's get over there, see what we got to do, and then figure out what the next move is for the band. I'm just going to pull into Mick Jagger's garage here. I didn't know he was a mechanic, but I'm pleased to see him. Uh, not really a big Stones fan, but hey, you know what? I need my van worked on. It's not that bad. It's just a little bit of front-end damage, all the driving we've been doing, but I want to keep it up to snuff. There's no reason not to. Uh, now, where are we headed? All the way up the street there. How are we doing on merch? Yeah, we're pretty good on that. I think certainly we can finish out the tour with what we've got. No, I didn't really understand that one either, Brad. No, I you yeah, know I read the same checklist you did. No, how how to how to be kind of nice and chill as a Canadian. No, apparently here when you wait in line for something, you just politely wait in line. I don't know either, man. You just politely wait in line. I know. I mean, my instinct is to go to the front of the line and scream, I was here first, because that's how America works. But no, apparently over the border here, we're, um, we're a little more patient. Who knew? Oh, I don't mind seeing that. His box wins oranges and something provides Todd both plus one in popularity. All right, last gig of the tour, back to Calgary, where apparently people live. I was informed in the comments section that there was some sort of Olympics thing held there in Calgary, and my response was, Psh, like anyone's watching the Olympics. But apparently Calgary has some sort of, you know, history to it. Oh yeah, look at that, right down the street from the theater, there's the old Olympic Village. It's probably ice skating and, I don't know, curling. They're very big on that up here, apparently. Yeah, no, Brad, 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 it's the one with the brooms. You you throw, like, the, the big puck. It's like a hockey puck, but it's, yeah, but it's huge, right, exactly. It's huge, I know. So then you, I don't know what the broom thing is either. I don't know, they sweep up the ice. 
Oh, just killing it in popularity right now. All of these songs going plus one in popularity. We have finished the Megalithic tour. You know what? We got to get right on the phone to Elton because we got to pay for that Canadian house we just bought. Elton, this time I want you to start us off in the part of the country that we have not been to. Let's head down to Florida. We have never been there. The weather is awesome. Tour band, not so good. How about we got out of Orlando, out of theme park area, and maybe Miami. Miami. How could you not start a tour in Miami? We're going to play with Rages. Sounds cool. Sounds like they rock pretty hard. And we're going to set up the We've Got a Canadian Mortgage Tour because our money is not as valuable, so we need to make more of it to pay off our Canadian mortgage. Elton? Set it up, man. Now, here's the real question, guys. Which home do we go to now? Because we haven't abandoned Boston. Boston's our hometown. Boston rocks harder than any other city in the world. But we've got this Canadian house now. Let's go back to Boston. Wow, one side of the continent to the other. We are back in Boston. Megalithic climbing a little bit, but we know the charts are rigged. Elton, okay, you've got our tour set up. September 5th in Orlando. I thought we were starting in Miami, Elton. I like Miami better. I mean, the theme parks are nice and all, but, you know, Miami, beaches, awesome. Okay, and then we're going to end it on September 18th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Ten gigs starting pretty soon. Let me see what you put together for me, champ. Okay, a little bit of a mixed bag here. We've got some arena shows and some theater shows. Good. Got to give me some decent paydays around here. All right, I like what you did there, Elton. We got to get kind of knuckled down, though, because we're going to be out on that tour momentarily is there anything we need to do in town right now let me just pop in we'll get some cds purchased just to get ready for the tour then we'll pop back home and get some practice how is this picture here and yet in canada did we buy a duplicate of it in canada because that doesn't look very canadian to me all right i know very little about canada but that that photo that just ain't canada i think there should be at least some snow or a pine tree next to her. All right, well, apparently we've got duplicate art. That's cool. You know, no, you're right, Ashen. It's um, it's, it's a little bit dingy compared to Canada. Canada's just brighter and prettier and cleaner and generally nicer and absurdly polite. And then there's the curling thing. No, I know, I know. It, it It's a little... It's a little dingy back in the apartment. But Boston is our hometown. We rock hard here. Let's get some practice done. Let's make sure we're practicing up all of our new songs that we've been putting together. So sensible long-term investments, Ashton's little contribution there. People live in Calgary, apparently. And throw in Big Fat Payday Woo. We're a little low on that one. Even Why Can't I Drive? That's actually a fairly okay quality song. What else do we need to be doing in here? What sort of... We're okay at it, but not fantastic. Wow, ground control to Major Tom in French for French Canadians. We haven't played that one in a while. Uh, let's put in, say, I don't know. We're not taking a lot of these out on tour. All right, well, just get his box wins oranges in there. Uh, sure, Anarchy in Delaware, Love You Like a Massive Paycheck. Sure, and Late Night Hat Party. I I know Ali, I'm probably not going to pull that out very often, Alicia. It's very, very dark, but let's make sure we're at least good at it. Right from one tour, right into another. We have got to get out to Orlando immediately. We could fly there, but I think it's going to be an awesome drive. Just drive right down the coast from Boston to Florida. You can do it on one road, actually. Just take 95 South and you will eventually end up in Florida. It's going to be a fun time, guys. This is going to be an awesome tour. Elton, were you just scribbling on a map when you put this tour together looks like you had some sort of seizure with a pen in your hand okay down to orlando i guess uh -huh. wow elton just back and forth back and forth back and forth the gail emmanuel arena i kind of want to stop into the melted war because that is so hardcore a name it's hard to resist you know what? While we are in the area, let's pop into a music store. Let's just really super stock up, guys. Let's make sure we've got everything we need. Brad, you're usually the biggest culprit here. Let's make sure we've got a lot of stuff for you to be smashing over the next couple of weeks. Not a bad opening gig. A quick six grand in our pocket. A whole bunch of songs going plus one in popularity and 97 copies of megalithic sold probably should have picked up some more of those and 
basically everybody just leveled up. So me, come here and talk to me about me. Let's have a couple into playing and then the rest into stage presence. Alicia, you're basically fine with everything. Why don't we get some more into lyrics with you? All right, let's see if we can get off the dark stuff and just start rocking hard and having a good time being all Canadian and things. And Ashton, ooh, Ashton, what are we gonna do with you? How about we just split this again between, uh, you know what? Put something into music. All right, again, I want a more inclusive RDD album coming out. Everybody gets to contribute a little bit. That's the goal. We go right from that into a couple of days off. Where are we next? Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. Not 100% familiar with where that is. It's it's not Canada. That's the best thing I can probably say about it. Let's get over there and let's just, I don't know, find a motel or something. Uh, so Orlando and then zoom in here. Going all the way up to Birmingham. I, this scribble line tour is a little bit weird. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. We've never been here before. This is a whole new map for us to unlock here. Um, ideally finding some kind of motel anywhere. Uh, Birmingham Theatre will be playing there hopefully soon. Uh, probably not going to buy a house. We kind of did that. Karen, come and talk to me about your hotel. You know what? If we're all Max inspired, you know, time for a new song. We are already planning the next album. In fact, on that, on that, hang on, hang on, back out of this. Elton, get on the phone to me. I want you to find a recording contract, please. We're already planning our follow-up album to Megalithic because we know the charts are rigged. Megalithic should be number one already. We're all very clear about that. But the record companies are holding us back. They are manipulating the charts so that we're not number one. So we're just going to keep piling it on until the record companies can't ignore the ridiculous decorative Daves any longer. And they put us at number one just like we want. Well, let's start with some pretty decent lyrics in here. I've got a couple of 25s. What's what's good right now? Still atheism and happiness. All right, let's try for happiness because it's going to be a song about how we're technically Canadians now. So we're going to be wicked happy about that. All right, what does that leave me to play with around here? Again, trying to be moderately inclusive. Not a lot of rhythms that we can do. Not a lot going on here. Uh, could bring in Brad Six. It's not his best work. If I bring that in, what does that leave me? I could get Dr. Sissy's riff in there. And how about a melody? Okay, melody is looking slightly more promising. Let me bring in that 20 melody. And then what does that leave me for a riff? Not a lot. Seeing a lot of ones there. Uh, Dr. Sissy, why don't you... No, actually, yours is very, very difficult. Why don't we bring in Alicia's riff, because that's easier to play. So what are we thinking, guys? Like a medium energy song for this? We are technically Canadian, so it's not going to be super high energy. It's not low energy, though. It's not a ballad. It's kind of medium energy being Canadian. Well, technically Canadian anyway, because it's all about being super chill and nice and polite, but also there's hockey, and hockey is a really, really aggro game. It's it's not even really a game, it's just a fight that happens to take place on an ice rink. So yeah, I think medium energy song, we are technically Canadian. And megalithic climbing a little bit more, but you can't fool me. Those charts are absolutely rigged. Okay, uh, we are, well, we're out, but we need to go right back inside because we still have a day off here. So check in one more time, please. Karen, sorry, I know that was a little bit of a, a tease. We checked out and then checked right back in and you've got some huge, huge music stars here and you're very excited about that. Uh, we're just going to take a nap until tomorrow, Karen. Uh, Elton would like us to come down to his office. Unfortunately, his office is several thousand miles away. Uh, so no, I mean, we will get there eventually, Elton. I, maybe I can work something out with a day off or something. We could actually fly in a plane for the first time. No, Brad, don't be scared, Brad. Don't be scared. It's going to be fine. I will I will get you through it. We'll, we'll give you some tranquilizers or something. You should be used to that. A nice little $25,000 paycheck and hopefully doing more of these gigs in parts of the country that we haven't been to. We're going to build up our popularity and our rep in those parts of the world. Uh, where are we off to? Tallahassee. Okay, the zigzag continues. His box wins oranges plus two in popularity now plus two where is that at what is um what's the uh what's the popularity of that right now 33 it's our second most popular song although the cow lies down on west 34th street 
not too far behind it at 30. I know, Brad. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Yes. Peter Gabriel, Era Genesis. It is, yes, I know. I know. I got it. Thank you. No, please, God, don't play that album again. And Dr. Sissy, let me just deal with your level up here. I'm going to put uh, basically almost everything into playing and then two more into music. Keep that ticking up a little bit. Okay, uh, what's our next plan here? Decatur, Alabama. Decatur? Decatur? I don't know. Anyway, we're off to Alabama uh, again. Perfectly serviceable gig there. Nothing particularly interesting going on. And we've got a couple of days off. Can we get back to Boston and then down to Miami in that amount of time? I'd really like to check in with Elton. We do, just for argument's sake, we do actually have to go to your office, right? Uh, oh, hang on. Never mind. Elton, I think we can do this via email. Uh, oh, you must actually visit your manager's office. Okay. Uh, no, I know where Elton is. I just don't know if we can get from A to B in time. We're going to try. I don't know, Dr. Sissy. Maybe we should get a Canadian manager. I have no idea. We'll think about it. Uh, we can fly there. All right. It's, uh, it's some money. I mean, Ashton's already cringing and hiding the checkbook, but it is some money. Oh, God. Won't be able to travel there in time. All right. Um, back the van up. We got to get back to Miami. We're going to totally miss this gig. We're going to 100% miss this gig. I'm going to fly there, but we're not going to make it on time. All right, we got... Uh, I know we missed a gig. I'm so sorry, Miami. We wanted to rock your face off so hard. I should not have done that. I shouldn't... Oh, no, I should have just stuck to the tour. That's on me. That's 100% on me. All right, where are we off to next? Elton, I'm sorry. I was trying to get to your office, Elton. This is actually, you know what I said this was on me, Elton? This is kind of on you. This is kind of on you. Why do you not know how email works? I can get it on my phone, Elton. All right, I could have responded to your email. I could have reviewed the contracts over here in Florida. And this could, how are you the only person on the planet who needs live in-person contact to get me business done? Okay, people of Tampa, I don't know if you're, like, really friendly with the people in Miami or not. I assume you all know each other. Could you just go apologize to them, express our, our condolences? Our, we're very, very sorry that we didn't get over to Miami. We'll try it again. No, Elton, I'm not going to stop yelling at you. This was very, very silly. You have minus 24 satisfaction, and this is your fault. Just get an email. A, I don't know. You can just... Google will walk you through it. You just get your own email. And then you can email people, and I can get it on my phone and respond to you on my phone. I wouldn't have to drive or fly from Florida to Boston just to say, yes, we'll accept that contract. Yeah, Elton, sometimes with you. All right, first thing we got to do is find a garage. We had a lot of wear and tear on the drive up here, so we need to get the van repaired very, very quickly because it is crawling through the streets of Macon, Georgia. Macon? Macon? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we we, we got to find a garage. How is there not a garage in Macon, Georgia? What, what, what am I, an Amish country? Do these people not have cars? I can't find a single garage in this entire town. Really? Really, Dr. Sissy? No, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing on Yelp or anything like that. No, okay. Not a single garage here. All right. I, I guess um, I guess Georgians aren't wicked into cars. We are. And this is going to take ages for the Lightning Skull van to get to the next gig, but let's at least finish it out here in Georgia. Well, apparently Elton is now bummed out that we didn't get over to Boston to sign his his contracts. <sighs> Elton, 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 Elton. You know what? Canada has managers too. That's all I'm saying, Elton. That's all I'm saying. Canada has managers too, and I think they know how email works. Well, the good news is at least Atlanta, Georgia has a garage, unlike Macon. All right, let's get Tim to work on the van, please, because it is beat. Oh, it is beat, yes. All right, no, keep, no, 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 Tim, keep keep the lightning skull. We love that. His box wins oranges yet again, plus one popularity. That thing is just a monster right now. Uh, what's the last stop on the tour here? Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, I feel that's kind of right around the corner. I mean, we're in South Carolina. It's got to basically be up the street to North Carolina because that's how North and South work, Ashton. If you're South, then North is technically up the street. Get a handle on these things, would you? All right, no, no, we're already here, guys. Start, start unloading the van, Brad. 
There we go. We have finished the We've Got a Canadian Mortgage Tour. We made some money on that. I mean, we certainly haven't made back what we paid on our Canadian house, but we've made some money and almost everyone has leveled up here. Uh, dump the whole thing into playing, please. Let's just make sure any of these hard to play songs that we're doing, we can actually do them. So get all of that in there. And then Dr. Sissy, you know what? Uh, split the difference here, Dr. Sissy. Put a little bit more into writing music as well. Okay. Let's get home, because I gotta have a word with Elton. No, I know about the water stains, Dr. Sissy. I know, it's not as nice as our Canadian house. Elton, Elton, Elton. All right, I am physically in the same space that you are now, so apparently we can do business. Why don't you try again, Elton? Find us a recording contract, please. Find us a recording contract. And in the meantime, we need to get some practice going on here. All right, so we've got a hot mess of songs that we can play and we can't play and all of that nonsense. Let me get play skill and drop me down. All of those things are in there. His box wind oranges were actually pretty good at 41 popularity. 41. Unbelievable. Technically Canadian, we can absolutely not play it. Not even a tiny little Bit. Oh, what a surprise. Elton has interrupted our practice session so we can go down to his office. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll go down to Elton's office so we can go down to his office and talk about record contracts because we are physically in the same state now so we can actually meet in person because that's all Elton knows how to do, Elton. There you go, Elton. I'm here. We're here. We're all together in the same room at the same time. Can we actually get some business done, please? Ooh, Cheeky Top Records wants two albums from us. That's interesting. What's the next one? One album. That's all 2009. We're going to have to wait another year to put these albums out. That's just not fair to the fans. It's just not. I like the two album idea. One album, one album, and one album. I think we're going to double down quite literally with Cheeky Top Records. I don't even care about the money. The money is there to be made. But two albums... That means we don't have to deal with this Elton nonsense again next year. Yeah, we're going to sign this off. So it's July 31st, 2009. Yeah, we got basically about a year. Uh, Elton, are you really happy now that we came? We're leaving now, Elton. Okay, we're, we're walking out. Elton, we're walking out the door. All right, Ashton's already down the hall. He's out of here. Is there any last minute business you need to do before I am not in the same room as you? Okay, Alicia, just dump it all into playing. I say that, no, put some more back into lyrics. Ashton, uh, pretty much the same with you, except put something more into stage presence. You could actually do with a bit of a boost in that. Okay, uh, we are leaving. We're out. Yeah, no, bye, El goodbye, Elton. G goodbye, Elton and right into practice. Let's get everything practiced up because over time, we're going to start recording all of these. We've got a lot to do. we got two albums to now put together here. Well, we've got two years to do it. Yeah, technically Canadian. We can play it at a skill of six. Let's uh, let's get some work done around here. Oh, the fans have already heard about the new album. Albums, I guess I should say. And all of our albums are climbing right now. Yep, everything's going up. They are already excited. We just released Megalithic. They're already hyped up about the next two. Maybe we should do oh, like a double album. I'd love to. What, are the, what was the thing that Guns N' Roses did with Use Your Illusion? They put out two albums at the same time, but it wasn't a double album. It's Use Your Illusion 1, Use Your Illusion 2. Now, personally, I have no particular love for Guns N' Roses, but I liked that idea. Put two albums out at the same time. But unfortunately, Elton's not going to let us do that. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Rising Star 2 for today. Back in Boston, although we might go back up to Canada. The Canadian house is so much prettier. It's just that our our money weirdly isn't as good up there. It's okay, but it's it's just not as... I don't know, Ashton, try and figure out this whole conversion rate thing. I'm really not sure about this. No, the hockey jersey does look very nice on me. You're right. I, it absolutely does. I mean, I'm, I'm not that much into hockey, but no, it looks good. I look great. That will do it on Rising Star 2 for today. Obviously, we'll pick up some more of this again next time. I have a hunch. After some practice, we're going to go back out on tour because the next thing I'd like to do between now and the next two albums is work on our countrywide popularity. So we're pretty good up here in the Northeast. Boston loves us, New York loves us, and all of Canada loves us, especially because we're technically Canadian now. But I could see West Coast and the South, we could build up our rep around there. So we might book kind of a long tour and just work on getting more and more popular around 
all of the country, not just the important bits. We'll pick up some more of Rising Star 2 again next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm going to go embrace my fate. I'm going to go give fate a big old hug. Just walk up and tongue kiss fate. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Citizens Tropco, everything is under control. This is, this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an aggressive urban redevelopment program. Bugs are inherently stupid and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish?